I'm going to talk today about how to render frames in Blender. Frames are just um, a set of rendered images. So anytime when I'm looking at my animation or any Blender scene, I can hit F12 to render what the camera is currently looking at. If you've added keyframes, then it will render the current frame that your uh, frame indicator is at. So in this case, I rendered frame 88. Um, when you render frames for an animation, it's going to render one image for every single frame that you have. So if you are doing 30 seconds of animation, then you would have 720 frames. In order to do this, there's a couple settings that you need to make sure you set. Um, under the render menu in the properties pane over here on the right, you so click the little camera here under resolution you need to change the 50 percent to 100 percent Ooh, not a thousand and that sets this 1920 by 1080 full resolution that's full hd or 1080p um, you need to double check your frame range although as long as you have your start and your end set correctly on your timeline then that will be the same over here and then if you scroll down, this output, you do not want it to be going to your temp folder. So in your uh, selector file browser here, if you click on this, you can select a folder. So as you notice, I have a whole bunch of files in my temp folder. If someone were to sit down at this computer and re-render to the temp folder, all of these files would be overwritten with their images and mine would be lost. So I want to make sure that I make a new folder. So if I right click on the desktop, I'm going to do new folder and then give it a name that makes sense to you. For my folder, I called it frames. And the reason that we're saving to the desktop instead of the Y drive is that um, the Y drive only has two gigabytes of storage, and so a lot of times students will find that they rendered their animation, but they run out of they ran out of space and it did not finish rendering. So they'll be like halfway through their animation, and it just stops rendering and they can't figure out why. Our computers have a lot of storage space, so saving to the desktop actually saves to the hard drive of the computer, um, and because it's on the desktop under your login, that is a safe place to save, and nobody else can overwrite that. So back to Blender, I'm going to select my Frames folder, and that's going to be under System Bookmarks Desktop, and then you can see my Frames folder. Now I've done this demo a few times for students, so I already have some frames in there. When you start this, you won't see any pictures in there, and I will accept, and then if I scroll down again and look there, now I see that it's under Desktop and Frames, and that's what I want. To get your animation started, all you have to do is click Animation, and it will start from the first frame, frame one, and go all the way up to the last frame. You can look up here and see how many, uh, how many seconds it takes for each frame, and then do some math, about two and a half seconds times 720 frames, and then divide by 60 to find out how many minutes it's gonna take to get through all of your frames. If you want to stop your render, all you have to do is come up here to the top and click this X on this little progress bar here, the render progress bar, and then your render will stop. And let's say um, it was the end of the period, you stopped rendering, you're on frame 13. Next time when you come in, you can start rendering on frame whichever 13 or 14. I'm not sure that frame 13 rendered all the way. Uh, looks like maybe it did. So I can do 14, I guess. So I would start at frame 14 and then keep going from there. Your other frames that you had rendered previously should still be safe in your frames folder, and you can go ahead and render the rest of them. Um, you can also render over sections. So let's say I rendered my whole animation and then I decided, you know, something in the middle here was wrong. So I redo my keyframes. And I want to, I've, I've messed with keyframes in between, like, say, 250 and 350 or whatever. 
I can come back over here and do a beginning frame of 250 or start frame and an end frame of 350. And as long as I'm still saving to that same folder, those frames automatically replace what's in my folder. And there's actually a setting somewhere where you can uh, determine here. Right here it says overwrite. So when that's checked, it's going to save over anything with that same name. If you uncheck it, which I don't recommend doing by the way, if you uncheck it, then it would do something like frame 001, one frame zero zero two one so it would like give it an extra little number to indicate that this is a different frame than what you had before so definitely leave this checked unless you have a reason to uncheck it because we want to usually we want to just go ahead and overwrite what we had before okay that is it for rendering your frames keep those frames safe in your folder and in another video, we'll talk about how to take all these frames and put them together with sound to make your final movie.